Let's hope it doesn't get to that situation that, that we're looking for that in the latter stages tomorrow. What do they need to do better? What lessons do they need to learn from that game to put into practice in Baku tomorrow? Well, um, I agree with Brian. He needs to pick a, a stronger, more physical team, a, a team that reflects the, 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 the severity of his situation. Um, if he doesn't get two wins here, he's facing his last window. Uh, two very tricky games and the, the amount of pressure will be on him then because it's enormous. So if he can take an awful lot of pressure off himself by being a little bit more pragmatic. You know, in the first half against uh, Azerbaijan, we were very... I, I call it shadow boxing. You know, you have the ball, we have the ball, mm. and, and we kind of went down to their level to try and play football. You saw in the second half, when you stick it on these guys physically, they find it very, very difficult to cope with it. You know, and I'm not saying that we should go to the extreme we saw the last 15, 20 minutes, but there's a happy medium for me. You can't keep trying to play through teams. You can't keep Gavin Bazuno giving it to Shane Duffy and expecting us to move through thirds every time. You know, if it happens, brilliant. But the severity of his situation is he needs a win. And the best way to do that is to be a touch more pragmatic. Again, I, I, I reiterate, I'm not saying we go back and just lump balls up to the big man, but there's nothing wrong with spinning a ball around the corner, down the side from Adamida, getting in their final third and playing their final third and applying enough pressure. If we play into their hands, so to speak, and try to play them at their game and try and play out from our own six-yard box to their six-yard box, it could be another very, very difficult opportunity. Bear in mind, we're, we're, we're away from home as well. So a touch more pragmatism from me, a touch more uh, team selection and shape selection that reflects the severity. I hate the phrase, must-win game. It's the most overused phrase in, in this business anyway. It gets used for all sorts of situations. But, I mean, you, you've kind of hinted at it there. I don't know if you, you, you both feel this, this way. Are these games must-win games for him, certainly tomorrow for I think hour. so. I think so. I think they have they have to be, you know. I mean, if he comes out of these two games without without two wins or even if he comes out with two draws, one win in eighteen going into the last round of fixtures is a tough sell. Mm. It's nearly impossible to sell that to the Irish public. You know, you have to have progress, but you also need to show something with results. Do you agree with that, Brian? Well, what we've had is uh, we went out of the Euros uh, the, in, in, in the playoff situation with Slovakia, which was only a semi-final. We played the, we played the group games in the Nations, Nations League. We got three points out of six games, three draws and three defeats, finished second last. We're scrapping to avoid the last place in this group as we are at the moment. So we need, from the last three games, we need results to be touched on to the progress that's been mm. made in terms of blooding young players, uh, giving them the opportunity. We need a bit of a return from that now. Um, and, and as Damien said, I have seen, there's been signs of more pragmatism. We've seen less less of we build her up in every area of the pitch and try and dominate the game. Against Serbia, there was a bit more pragmatism about delivery from Duffy in particular up towards Ida and in the game in Hungary as well. There's a, a, a bit more of a, of a better mix, in my view, in terms of trying to retrieve results. But you've got to take chances, you've got to score goals. And some of the players have been given lots of chances to do that and they haven't done it. Be interesting and see whether he gives uh, Will Keane the go in the match tomorrow. Uh, let's hope uh, results uh, come as well as progress tomorrow. They certainly uh, need to uh, at this 